question 28 do this one take a minute and come back all right what did you get let's see an article which cost one thousand four hundred and twenty four dollars may be purchased by depositing five hundred and sixty dollars and making monthly payments of forty eight dollars in how many months will complete payment be made hmm. let's see here you have the cost is one thousand four hundred and twenty four dollars the deposit that mean you pay down five hundred and sixty dollars so you're going to subtract to see how much more is left you have four minus zero is four two minus six you borrow one from four you have three twelve twelve minus six is six you borrow one from one you get zero this is 13 13 minus five is eight eight hundred and sixty four dollars all right then making deposits of forty eight dollars each month now you can do this by saying eight sixty four hmm can do it by saying 864 over 48 and see what you get all right well let me do a quick little thing here 864 that's kind of close to what 850 call it 850 and this is kind of close to 50 if I say 50 all right say 900 kind of close to 900 over 50 because I see these answers are very far from one another zero cancel zero five into five one time five into nine goes one time or four five into 48 mm -hmm. so I get 18 just by approximation all right so what I'm saying here is that I could de do the division here and say 2 into 48 goes 24 2 into 2 1 2, 2 into 48 2 into 2, 24 2 2 into 8 4 2 into 8 goes 4 times 2 into 6 3 2 into 4 2 and I divide by 2 again 2 into 24 is 12 and this is 2 into 4, 2. 2 into 3 goes 1 time. Leave 1. 2 into 12, 6. I could divide again. 2 into 12 goes 6 times. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 0. 2, 2 into 1, I can't. 0. Remainder 1. 2 into 16, 8. And then I could divide again and say 2 into 108. 2 into 10 goes 5. And 2 into 8, 4. 2 into 6, 3. And I have 54 over 3. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 5 is 1 time, remainder 2, 3 into 24, 8, and get the 18, all right? But I didn't really have to do that. I could um, approximate this to other numbers and get something kind of close to what I have here. Another thing I could do is jack this up jack this number up to 1500 and jack this deposit down to 500 i'm minusing 1500 minus 500 is 1000 right so i would say the the, the customer has 1000 dollars to pay and i could jack this up a little to 50. divide the 1000 by 50. 1000 over 50 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 10, 2 is 20. Which number here is closest to 20? I could look at 18 and 24, but then remember. Remember that I had jacked this up. The deposit up. The, um, the price up to 1500. 
now if i reduce it back the person could pay in less than 20 months all right if i reduce this back down to 1500 um to if i reduce this 1500 back down to 424 that would tell me that the person could pay in less than 20 months all right so it's a matter of playing around with um these numbers in case you're running out of time just take some approximation to these values and see how they work out but doing it fully if you're not running out of time you could do it fully and you get 18 as the answer all right another thing you could do to you know is to say after you have $864 left 48 it's kind of close to 50 call it 50 if you pay $50 monthly for 24 months 50 for 24 months 24 by 0 is 0 24 by 5 I know that 24 25 100 20 by 5 is 100 and 4, 5, 20 is 120. You would pay a lot more than the 864. So it would be less than 24 months. Alright. So 24 months would be too much. You would be paying too much. If you have 864 left. And you are paying about close to $50. For 24 months it would be way way over. Alright. But anyway, the safest bet is to just do it straight if you have the time. If not, you can get rid of the ridiculously high or ridiculous low value and come to your, your, your correct answer. But anyway, we have question 28A.